Right into the boardroom. So, Derek, you're a Mensa genius. <laughs> How does it feel to lose? It hurts, not because I'm in Mensa, but because I'm a, a wild competitor and, and I can't stand losing. As project leader, I take responsibility for this loss, but it's important to note that we lost not because of a lack of leadership. We lost because two people on this team did not step up and execute on the task to which they were assigned. Who are the two people? That'd be Summer and Lenny. And yet Summer predicted you were going to lose. Don't you give her credit for that? May I say something? Because my name was mentioned despite the fact I was writing the blimp, which I was assigned by Terry. Was that a mistake that you were in a blimp? No, 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 it's not. Because I utilize my knowledge of the area. I actually live in his Brunswick, okay? Is he not He's a leader not or did he just do a bad job this time? I don't want to end up uh, have a leader like Terry. You know what they did when they put you in the blimp? They sent you to Siberia. Lee, let me ask you a question. You've seen this whole deal. What did you think of him as a leader? I think it was a severe lack of mismanagement. We had no creative process whatsoever. Aside from giving out um, duffel bags, uh, we didn't have any creative process or any juices flowing at all. All right, Teresa, let me ask you, what did you think of Derek as a leader? I think his excitement and his motivating the team and getting the respect of the majority of the team was excellent. Well, he didn't get the respect of Lee. He didn't get the respect of the Monday, Russian. Did he get morning, the respect of the Russian? I don't think so. So why did you lose, Teresa? Summer was given a task, and that task was to contact the businesses. She said to me, I only made one phone call. So she gave up on the team at that point. I said, I know the restaurant business, and I know they will buy this product. And your restaurant's very successful, isn't it? Yes, sir. And it runs like a ship, and if someone's calling me during my dinner rush to sell me a product and tell me it's good for me, it's not a good, it's not a good product. They don't know about the restaurant How business, or they wouldn't call, call me. I How many one, people did I you call? One person. But you're saying you only called one person. Okay, let me ask you this, Charmaine. Who was at fault for you losing? I can't say one person, it's one person's fault why we lost, but I can tell you that moving forward, who I would like to not see on the team, and that would be Summer. Yeah, but you know, say what you want about Summer. She was right. Before you lost, she said you were going to lose. Mr. Trump, I don't think anyone can commend a person for making a chess move when it's the only move they can make. One of the paramount reasons that we were all so surprised was that her outspokenness did not present itself until the board. Derek, you're gonna pick one person or two people, or maybe three people, and you're gonna come back in the board. Who are you picking? Summer, Lenny, and Lee. And Lee. Okay, Teresa, Bryce, Dan, Charmaine, Leslie. Go upstairs, enjoy the suite. And you will come back with your three people. Yes, sir. Okay? Thank you. Yes, sir. actually led the team fairly well. I think Summer should have made those phone calls. When he was in the blimp, he probably didn't contribute too much. Well, first of all, as far as Tarek, you picked him as a leader. He didn't volunteer. That makes it slightly different. And I think it's tough to lead. As far as I'm concerned, that if Summer had made the telephone calls, she might have gotten more business, and that might have been the difference of winning or losing. She made the decision not to make the calls. Robin, let him in. Please go in to see Mr. Trump now. Thank you. Lee, you have disdain for Tarek? I do now. I, everyone on my team said I did a phenomenal job. And, and you told me I did second, a good one second. job I did leading this team. Lee, what did you, you say in here? Lee, you said I did not listen, 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 I never said that you did a good job. I, I said you did some good again. things well, okay? I did say, okay, as soon as I said that maybe that you should fire Tarek, and I think you should, he brings me into the boardroom. I mean, it shows Please. dishonesty. I mean, how could you tell someone I'm not going to bring you in 
and then make him a president of one of your Well, did you tell him you're not bringing him in? Yes, sir. But that's when and, I thought uh, I could only bring two you people in. You still brought two. And, and so why also, did you bring Lee in? I brought, I brought the three people in who did not execute on the task to which they were assigned. Lee, are you less impressed with Mensa now than you were 24 hours I, ago? I, I have respect for people that, have, that, that are in Mensa. I have no respect do for Do you think I'm unintelligent? Yeah, I think you're unintelligent. Okay. Well, I don't think he's unintelligent, but maybe lacks common sense. Hey, Tarek, let me ask you this. Why did you bring Lenny back? I brought Lenny he back because like he, me. That's it. it has that's nothing the, to do with not small liking reason, you. No, no, you know why me? didn't you bring him back? He was in the blimp and he was flying around having a good time. Because he did nothing. He did not step up when, when he was called to step up. Tarek, let me ask you a question. You said he did nothing, but he had familiarity with the area and he directed where the blimp went. How can you say that's of no value? You got somebody who knows the area. Tarek, didn't this thing fail because of you? Absolutely not, Mr. Trump. You can't blame him for being on a blimp and not coming back. You're the leader. I blame them for their effort. No, no, but yeah, but they still need leadership. I, I gave them leadership. But but these two guys, whether you like them, don't like them, whether they were good, bad, they probably shouldn't be in the room. Don't you agree? They probably should. I think they should be in the room they because they didn't step wrong. up. Summer, I have a question for you. Yes. What did you contribute to this team? You I'm didn't make the calls, and you were up in a blimp. What I contributed to this team yes. was not were not things that everyone could see. So like tell them what? to me because I Come can't on, give see. Me a break, so tell me. So, no, what did you contribute? I was aware of the product. But why didn't you make the phone calls? Why didn't you make them? You make some phone calls. Why didn't you make them? Maybe you hit, maybe you don't hit. At least you made them. Why didn't you make them? It didn't Did go you well score with, with the one example. you made or not? She said, we'll call you back. Summer, I'm still trying to figure out what did you contribute to this team? What did you contribute to this team? I, it's the third time I asked. I contributed uh, product knowledge. I think everybody had product knowledge. Go ahead. I, I, don't, I don't believe so. I don't believe Tarek knew the product. Sorry. I knew the product just as well as everybody yeah, else you know, in that Okay, okay. wait a minute, Summer. Wait a minute, it's Summer. Very simple. Lenny, yes. if I fired Summer, would you be disappointed? Yes, I will, Mr. Because Trump. you think that it should be somebody else. She's a strong woman, and I think, you know, she deserves to stay. You and, don't uh, think it was She's anything. a huge input. She's a practical. Tarek, let me ask you a question. When we talk leadership, why didn't you step up and give something away? Don't you know customers like a freebie? You had a budget at that point. Give them something to eat, something to drink, something that they would do. We had the gift bags. It, well, the, gift bag, what give, was in we, the gift bags? There was nothing in the gift bag. Good, so you gave a gift bag yeah, with nothing with, in it. Without gifts. That's right. Nothing, that's going to be a big hit with all with it's customers. Like it was a complimentary giveaway. I, 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 don't, I don't think that was a bad decision. What, giving away nothing? <laughs> you know, Tarek, these people are laughing at you. I mean, it's, I'm sorry to laugh. I'm sorry, you know what, I, I, let, me, let me just say something really quick. Why should you interrupt me when I'm knocking because, him? Because we didn't I know, get, but we by get... interrupting me when I'm knocking him, what are you doing to yourself? Because I'm being truthful, and I'll always be truthful. He, How stupid saying, is that, right? It's not stupid. stupid. Here I am. I can't even I'm getting ready to exactly. almost fire this guy for being and a that... horrible leader. And you interrupt if me, I stay, I and want you to were no great room. shakes yourself. Summer, summer, just you did a lousy job. So sorry. Here I am, I'm getting ready practically to fire this guy, and you keep interrupting me and stopping me from doing it. And in the end, what Carolyn said to you is true. I want him to be she fired. She said, what have you done? And truth. you couldn't answer it. You know what, Summer? You're fired. Okay. Go. Thank you. You didn't make it by much, I want to tell you that, Tarek. She saved your ass. Understood. With her own stupidity, she saved your ass. Not for long. Good luck to you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going to worry about the truth. No, it's fine. It's fine. Truth pulls her out. That was sort of obvious at the end, wasn't it? A little obvious All right. before that. It was probably the right answer, but I'll tell you what, Carrick is totally overrated.
Next season, The Apprentice is heading to Los Angeles, and it's going to be tough. If you have what it takes, send me a tape. Go to the website below for more information right now. I'm on my way out, got fired, and I can say I'm leaving happier with myself than I've ever been. Through this experience, I was able to be exposed to some of the brightest people in the country, and I learned that these bright people don't know half of what my family taught me, but that I had a Nick education in my own home. Next week on The Apprentice, two teams, two problems. What are you, nuts? Things are about to go from bad... Hey, Bye. got the bull right. ...to completely bizarre. I was confronted by Brent in a threatening manner. You can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. It's gonna take twice the Trump... My daughter Ivanka. ...to figure out this mess. Interesting group of people. All new Apprentice, next Monday at 9, 8 central on NBC. For more on The Apprentice, go to NBC.com. And want to get email or mobile updates about The Apprentice? Go to Yahoo and search for Apprentice Alerts. Now, an all-new medium on NBC.